This is why you hope to be relevant, because you play in games like this that bring about this kind of energy, that uh, elicit from you that kind of nervous energy that you'll have all week long coming off a win against LSU. Then they beat Georgia in that first game, and this was truly going to be Clemson's year, right? Sammy Watkins, Taj Boyd, that game at Clemson, hard place to go and win. Is this a game that you believe Florida State is going to go and win if you're a Florida State fan? Or are you just excited, hey, to be in a battle, two top five teams, the whole nation watching, great game, good times, great to be back to that level of play. We've played our way. Jameis has played his way into the minds of many that thought there was no way we would go on the road this year, win that game against a senior quarterback like Taj Boyd. Look, I came into this season talking about Taj Boyd because I love him. I mean, I really like Taj Boyd a lot. There's a lot to like about him. If you listen to him talk, if you read his quotes, if you watch him lead, if you saw the improvement from the first game he started to where he is now, I mean, he's really come a long way. He's the kind of college football story that you can get behind and root for. But all of a sudden, we get to this point of the season, the one that we were targeting, and I'm not so sure Jameis Winston just isn't the best quarterback in the country, let alone better than Taj Boyd. And people hear that, especially from outsiders. People hear that, you know, at, at, at Clemson, they hear that across the country, and they say, look here, Homer, you've lost your mind. Just go look at those numbers. Go watch the video, man. Go watch that kid play. He does silly things. And I'm talking about not just physically. It's the mind, man. It's the mind. He's wicked smart. That's what gives you the hope that you can go on the road and win a game like this. That he could handle those environments. Clemson's going to score, folks. I mean, they've got too much talent. They score against everybody. They're going to score here. They're going to make a few plays. That's why they're a top five team. It's why they beat Georgia. They're a good football team. You can handle that. We're a good football team. So you come right back and make a play after they do. Listen, after the Boston College game, I went on these airwaves and said repeatedly, that is not a glimpse of what's to come. That is not. That game, those numbers, that offense, that does not portend of things to come. And it didn't. We turned around and shut out Maryland. I think we're better on defense than people thought. I think we're better on defense than Clemson thinks. The brutally honest Florida State fans will tell you, yeah, this game could go either way. But Clemson at home with a senior quarterback at night, I think they get by. A lot of Florida State fans are probably of the mindset, we'll have a chance, it'll be close, fourth quarter, they'll probably get it done. Does Jameis take yet another huge leap forward? Because I'll tell you what, he wins this game. He goes up there, outplays Taj Boyd in their place, in that environment with a nation watching, with all that's on the line. If he's making play after play after play, if he's checking us into right protections, time and again negating Clemson's pressure off the edge, making the big throws, throwing guys open, scoring points when you have to have them to silence the crowd, capitalizing in the red zone, spinning out of pressure. If he's doing all the stuff he's done up to this point, he does it there in that moment in time, He'll never go into another game while he's here thinking we can't win. Okay, the Florida State. If we gonna do it, then.